Today we're talking about a lesser known motion picture called Thor The Dark World. And how not to make a sequel. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to your Everyday Nerd B-Sides Editions. I'm your host, Zack Snyder, and on the B-Sides, talk about anything and everything in the same format as your Everyday Nerd. They're just shorter, unsponsored episodes. Thor The Dark World is the second Thor movie. Uh, I've seen it twice now. It's not worth watching. Um, but if you want to hear my personal reasons why I don't like this movie, then stay tuned. After all this time, now you come to visit me, brother. Why? For those that don't know anything about it, 2013's Thor The Dark World is the eighth film in the MCU and was directed by Alan Taylor, the same man that made Terminator Genesis. I've never seen a Terminator movie in my life, but I can tell you I've heard the Terminator Genesis is not a good movie. Following the events of the Avengers, Thor takes Loki back to Asgard so he can pay for his crimes. Meanwhile, Natalie Portman and Kat Dennings find some strange portals on Earth that are connected to the Aether, which is basically the reality stone. The main plot in Thor The Dark World revolves around a dark elf named Malekith, which I don't give a singular f about. In fact, I don't care about this movie at all, and honestly, it's kind of unfortunate. My major criticism with the first Thor movie was that there wasn't enough Asgardian f Most of it was very grounded on Earth, and it wasn't really bad, it was just kind of boring. But now we get Asgardian and fantasy shit everywhere, and it was so f boring. Sure, the fantasy stuff looks dope. Sure, there's some good character stuff between Thor and Loki, especially in the later half. I do like this one scene of the entire movie. I like this one scene where we even get a Captain American cameo. But, but other than that, what do we get? A bad MCU villain, boring interactions between all the characters that were boring in the first film, the dumbass forced romance between Thor and Jane Foster that doesn't even matter because she doesn't even show up after this movie. They do try to do a similar thing with Jane that they do with Pepper in Iron Man 3. Both characters end up with some kind of power put into them and then they get this badass moment. But like, Jane's character is just, it's so boring it doesn't even matter. I honestly don't know why this movie was made and I never want to see it again. I wish I had more to say about it. I do. I wish I could tell you more things that I liked or hated about it. But honestly, like, I, I was struggling to even stay awake while watching this movie. Both times. Five years ago and last week. It, it just... And it makes it even worse when you're in a marathon setting trying to watch a lot of these movies in one sitting. It, it's not... It's not an easy movie to get through. If you're watching the MCU for the first time, all you need to know is that most of this film doesn't matter to the overall span of the MCU. Especially after Thor Ragnarok. There's the Reality Stone. It's a thing. You'll learn more about the Infinity Stones in future films. You'll know that it's given to the Collector at the end of the movie because Thanos is going to get it at some point. But other than that, it's pretty irrelevant. There are some things that happen to Thor's character that makes him who he is today. But there's some stuff in Endgame that basically tells you everything you need to know about this movie. And they do it in a very, in a much more entertaining and interesting way than everything that this movie tries to do. So, if you're trying to watch this movie for the first time, just get that completionist rate of the MCU. Go for it. You don't have to, though. If you're rewatching everything for Endgame, you absolutely don't need to rewatch this movie. And at the end of the day, Thor: The Dark World is the biggest disappointment in the MCU. It is. is it's thanks. Thanks for coming to my TED talk, everybody. But that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If for reason you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. Let me know down in the comments though, what your thoughts on Thor the Dark World are. I know some people were like, it's not that bad. And I know some people were like, it's really bad. And I think I was being a little exaggerating. I, I think it's overall like whatever. It's just the most whatever movie in this entire franchise. Right up there with Incredible Hulk, except Incredible Hulk's better because I, I don't know. Make up your own opinions for these movies. Anyways, if you want to see more Everyday Nerd, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.